Okay, most students requested that I do uh, these problems here that were part of your um, flipped assignments, so I'm going to do these for you here. 12 through 18, I think you can figure out 10. Okay, the first one is they just want you to multiply, and what they're asking you to do is multiply by the conjugate. So when we multiply, we're going to multiply across, and we get sine of 1 minus cosine over 1 plus cosine times 1 minus cosine. Now what we're going to deal with is the denominator, which is um, 1 minus cosine squared. And I'm going to just copy him. Now my first reaction is to go ahead and distribute this, but I learned my lesson and I don't want to do that yet because I know this equals sine squared. So I'm just going to copy this again. Sine times 1 minus cosine equals sine squared. Now, what I can do is I can um, cancel this out. That leaves me one sine here. So my answer is 1 minus cosine over sine. And this is what I talked about in class when you did your problems. Sometimes they're going to ask you to show that this equals this. And you can notice that there's a flip-flop thing. The, the sine is in the denominator now. The 1 plus cosine is in the numerator, and this, this change to uh, opposite sign. If it's positive, it's going to turn to a negative. And so if they ask you to do this from here to here, what you're going to do is multiply by the conjugate. Spelled conjugate. Okay. Um, this one is just to uh, put over a common denominator. So we've run into those already. So we're going to do the common denominator. Since these are both different, we have to take them both. So that's going to be 1 plus cosine times 1 minus cosine. Now, in some books we'll show you that all you have to do basically is just kind of, you're not actually cross multiplying, but you can just multiply these two together and these two together. That's not going to work always, but it does work with the identity. So, um, the way I say it is, what times your old denominator here gives you the new denominator? Or what is missing? And what's missing is this one. So you take this one times one. Or you can just cross multiply. So that's one minus cosine plus, if you cross here, you get one plus cosine. And what happens here is the ones cancel. So you have two cosines on top, so that's just going to be uh, two cosines. Uh, actually, what happens here, the ones cancel and so does the um, cosines. Let's see, the ones don't cancel. So we get two, so let me do this again. Da, 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 da. Sorry about that. So we have one minus cosine and one plus cosine. So the cosines cancel, and you get 2 over 1 minus cosine squared. Now, they just asked you to, you know, rewrite over a common denominator, and that's what we did. If you wanted to, you could write it as 2 over sine squared, or whatever uh, you're trying to do when you establish your identity. They might want you to leave it this way, or they might, you, might want you to write it as this way. Okay, 16. This has the form of um, a plus b times a plus b, or this is a plus b squared, which equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So my a is tan. There it is. So I have tan squared plus 2 tan, because b is 1. So it's just 1 times tan plus 1 minus um, secant squared all over tan. Now, tan squared minus secant squared is 1. So we have 1 
Um, and I'm going to go ahead and, for saving room, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So this all equals 1. So you have 1 plus 1 is 2. So you have 2 minus 2 tan over tan. And I think that's about all we can do. We can factor out a 2 and get 1 minus tan over tan, but we just leave it like this. Okay. And the last one, what do they want us to do? Factor and simplify. Well, since I already have cosines everywhere, I'm going to leave it that way. And I'm going to notice that this follows the form of a squared minus b squared. And we know that is a minus b times a plus b. So that's going to be cosine minus 1 times cosine plus 1. Now the denominator, I'm going to just use greatest common factor or highest common factor. And IB, they tend to use the highest common factor um, terminology. So I'm going to factor out a cosine and I'm going to get cosine minus 1. And you notice here that these two can cancel, so my final answer is cosine plus 1 over cosine.